Good morning. In case in here, walking the dogs. It's a May bank holiday. It's nice, it's calm, it's grey. It's a bit damp. Sun might come out later. Not too many people around, which is what I like. And in the last conversation, we were talking about at what point does AI become sentient? You know, sentient, it knows it exists. Is software code, computer hardware, is it capable of of creating that artificial awareness that it exists? I'm not sure. Lots of claims around, but I'm still not sure. Will it, will it do in the future? Who knows? You know, we're now... We're now at a point where we're thinking about consciousness, aren't we? This way, Bo. You know, consciousness. Again, can can computing, can electrical things, is it capable of becoming conscious? Anyway, let's let's move on to the the sentient thing, but let's move past that in terms of the trickery that. Uh, could be going on already. If you look about, if you look at what AI is used for by the big social media platforms, you know, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, uh, their whole, their whole sort of the backbone of the AI there is, is to capture things that we do, things that we share, things that we like, things that we don't like, what screens we've looked at, what pictures we've looked at. Uh, what responses or comments we might have made. And, you know, we're training their AI models because they then are in a position to feed us with the content that will get the maximum likes, the maximum screen time. Because their model at the end of the day, don't forget it, is to sell advertising or to sell... Yeah, just to sell the stuff that they have on us. And, you know, if they feed you stuff that creates a reaction bearing in mind it's now proven isn't it that the the thing is is that um bad news in a sense is far more (laughs) bad news is far more lucrative propagating and selling bad news misinformation is it gets a far better reaction than selling good news and of course the the whole AI machine is engineered to get eyeballs on on things, so the advertising revenue clicks in. And if to do that, they have to feed you with more and more things that get up your nose, make you angry, make you upset, make you annoyed. And then it goes beyond that, of course, where they can feed you content that starts pitting different parts of society, a town, a family against each other, which we've which we've seen, causes massive. But then again, you know, there's no fact-checking going on. It's like ChatGPT. Everyone talks about it as an amazing tool and definitive, but, you know, I've been playing with it, and it's really inaccurate. You know, it might give you a a table of contents to design a new website, but Jesus, that's not a very hard thing to do. It might write you some copy or some content and stuff, but as I said in my last article, it's not your copy and not your content, not your creative works. You've just asked the question. You've just prompted it to ask the question. It's not your work. And it's not that clever. So it's interesting, isn't it? So I guess what I'm alluding to is the ability for AI to fool, fool us, to fool humanity, to, dare I say, lie to us. Social media lies to us, governments lie to us, big corporations lie to us. And but I'm not sure people are fully aware. Humans want to trust, we want to believe. And we're emotional creatures. So when we've got our reptilian sort of hat on, we 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 tend to react to a picture or a comment or what have you, then we get a bit emotional about it and our ability to reason and fact check and filter it dissipates you know we just are emotional creatures aren't we and 
so I think you know the the whole AI thing around can AI manipulate humanity well the answer is of course yes but we're going to touch on another massive area here is who sets the rules who's setting the objectives now in Instagram or or uh, Facebook or these social media platforms the organization the programmers are setting the rules aren't they they are they're defining what they're looking the reaction the outcome but let's let's in the next conversation let's talk about the other side of that that's the worrying side talk soon <laughs>